Now, let's go ahead and get the ball rolling on the show tonight and start bringing in some of our callers from the phone lines. We want to go ahead and bring in Bruce George, has also been holding very patiently tonight. Bruce, are you there? Uh, no question. And for those that don't don't know Monty Smith, definitely uh, keep your ear to the ground. He's a firebrand revolutionary. I mean, a true revolutionary. And I mean, and he is like the most dopest, one of the most dopest spoken word artists. I mean, raw. It's all good. It's all good. For, for those of you who don't know, uh, Monty Smith is a, definitely an incredible, uh, phenomenal spoken word poet. The deal is done by Monty Smith, read by Chuck D. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not everybody's favorite poet in the sense of being politically correct, but once again, fuck being politically correct. There's nothing correct about politics. So in the building, we got my man Monty Smith. And um, I have to kind of let you introduce kind of where, you, All right, well, where this came from. Here's the deal. Monty was supposed to be on for about 10 minutes. The conversation got so good that he was on a lot longer, and then we got a lot of response from the things he was saying. Most people do not stress the real issue. Right. Most people will not come out of their heads and say what's really on their mind because they feel censored, because society still censors, because America is still full of censorship. America's not based on freedom and democracy. This country was built off the pillars of human slavery. Racism is still alive in this country. Um, most of the major businesses, most of the major bloodlines, most of the major families in this country are on top today because they used human slavery to get there. Mm -hmm. Street poetry is raw, it's natural, it's something that is in the hearts and minds of the common men and women. Uh, the working class people, the blue collar people, the oppressed people. Um, street poetry is a language that is telling what is going on in society, what is going on globally, in a way that whether you're homeless, whether you're in sixth grade, or whether you're 55 years old, you will be able to understand completely what is being said to you in a way that not only explains but resonates an energy, a power that you do have and that you need to tap into and become a part of so we can all collectively come together.